Society for Conceptual Logistics and Communication Research. An overview. Communication studies increasingly concerns itself with plugging in and swapping out concepts from theoretical models designed for past projects. Graduate students are encouraged to fit their ideas into templates and theoretical structures laid before them as authoritative. It is often the case that graduate students are perceived as conduits for prolonging and promoting research styles rather than thinkers who construct new theories and methods. Rather than asking students to repeat their mentors research methods or pressuring younger faculty to publish only in important journals, what if they were encouraged to identify new problems and to invent new concepts to solve them? Despite its emphasis on new media, communication studies relies heavily on print culture resources, textbooks, reference works, journals, and books. The concepts used in the field are formatted as definitions. There are benefits to definitions of concepts published by well-known scholars authorized by leading journals or established presses. However, definitions, by definition, set boundaries on the use of terms. Thus, by their very nature, they constrict exploration and creativity. Given the rapid advances in communication technologies, researchers, whether professors or students, need to be given the opportunity to conceptualize their research in less restrictive environments in order to respond to technological innovations with conceptual innovations. In a field increasingly entrenched in the publish or perish cycle, professional success is usually based on publication records. To establish a publication record, scholars must generate research that is to some extent unique but that to a greater extent complies with the conventional wisdom in a field as is adjudicated by established reviewers. Another metric of success is grant work. If scholars can bring in research dollars by responding to a funding agency's research agenda, they are rewarded. In short, in order to succeed, research must be acceptable to the establishment. That is to say, what is acceptable is what is already accepted. This environment does not promote innovation or creativity. Skulker exists to provide an environment for innovation and creativity. Because we believe that communication research is a fundamentally transdisciplinary endeavor, we do not limit ourselves to self-identifying communication researchers. We welcome work from students, faculty, researchers, and practitioners in any number of field whose research is related to human communication. We understand that existing national institutions for communication studies serve a function and have a role to play in shaping the field. Skulker was not founded to replace those organizations or similar ones. However, as social structures, these institutions tend to reproduce themselves. They pay little attention to ideas that do not conform to traditional methods and structures. Skulker is designed as an online forum where untraditional concepts are constructed, explored, debated, used, and published. Part of the problem of institutional reproduction has to do with the limitations of print culture. Print is a fixed medium. It crystallizes the cognitive activity of conceptualization into concepts. Once set by definition, terms resist change. The glossary in communication textbooks, for instance, have a tendency to remain fixed through revision after revision. Definitions not only fix conceptions, they also decontextualize them. Our corrective for this type of conceptual reproduction is to provide new venues for communication researchers by enabling them to more easily analyze logistical issues in the uses of research concepts, how they were planned, implemented, and adjusted. Hence, we describe our work as conceptual logistics. The Skulker Toolkit is a dynamic database that enables collaboration and discussion related to conceptual logistics. It is designed to make available innovative conceptual tools, visualizations, collaborative workspaces, known on server provider sites as sandboxes, and interactive pedagogical tools. With these tools in hand, a researcher is equipped to innovate.